Hello, good evening, people. Good evening, teacher. Hey, Alfredo. Hi, man. Uh, finally, finally, finally you're, you you had you had a little bit of time, <laughs> <laughs> but but I I think you're you're at work yet, isn't it? Yes, yes, I am working. Ooh. But the, the this day is uh, very relaxed. Ah, I mean that's cool. That's cool. It means that you don't have that much work to do today. Okay, that's nice. And how's everything in there? How's La Safra going? <laughs> uh, and the uh, in principio, <laughs> in the beginning, uh huh, uh, very difficult. Uh -huh. Uh, hard work. Yeah, uh, but but in the the last weekend, uh, all the all the machine normally. Uh huh. Super stable, yeah. Ah, that's cool. That's nice. That's really cool then. If, if everything is like stable, that's cool, man. That's nice. All right. Cool. And when you go there, how many days do you stay there? Or uh, do you do you go home and you go back there? Uh, uh depend and in, in in this weekend and in, in this week. Uh, I work uh, three days. Uh -huh. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Uh -huh. But in the last weekend, uh -huh. last week, pardon, uh, I work five days. Ah, really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> en la primera semana no salí de aquí. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, no, no, no. Los siete días pasé aquí. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that was, that was oof, a lot of work, right? That was with a lot of work. But the good thing is that now it's like everything is getting down, right? Everything is, is going back to normal. Yes. I mean, that's cool. That's really nice. Más descanso para usted. Necesito yeah, man, tanto descanso, ya. <laughs> ya la ojera ya no me cabe en los ojos. <laughs> yeah, man, it's true, it's true. Ah, but no problem. Ya vamos a descansar de clases por un rato también. Yeah, I mean, just today and tomorrow. And we basically finish uh, at least this with this year, right? And then uh, we're going to continue the next, the next year. That will be... That will be nice. Buenas noches, Hi, Jennifer. Me dejé un mensajito preguntándole ahí si sí, cuándo es el último día del módulo. Disculpe. Ah, ah, I'm here. I am Jennifer. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Mañana? Yes. ¿En serio? No. Yes, tomorrow. Okay. Why, Jennifer? Porque. Eh, Ya no tengo permiso para poder eh, faltar, según ya me comunicaron, entonces, oh, es decir, ya me habían dicho, ¿verdad? Ya no falte. O conecte, o conecte todas las horas, ¿no? Que necesita ahorita. Entonces, eh, primero yo no voy a estar, no puedo estar en, eh, en la clase. Y ya estaba afligida porque ya no tengo permiso. ¿El primero? Uh -huh. ¿El miércoles? Ajá, ajá. No me diga que miércoles todavía tenemos clase. <laughs> no, 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 ya mañana, mañana terminamos todo ya. Tomorrow class. <laughs> me asustó. Ok. <laughs> no, pero mañana todavía puede. Sí, claro. Ah, yeah, Super. Perfect. Yeah, I mean, no problem, no problem. Yeah, I mean, eh, we're going to finish tomorrow. Today me is... choca, me choca mañana, pero voy a estar aquí completa. Ah, ok. Ya, yeah, porque mañana recordemos, tenemos lo de la videoconferencia, lo de la encuesta de satisfacción, perdón. Ok. Ajá. Give me a second. There's one... Uh, uh, 
your your classmates are, are on the way home. Okay. Okay, so what's up, people? How was your weekend? What did you do? What you didn't do? Alfredo was working. I mean, he was, he was saying that he needs to sleep. Yeah, casi estoy con la frente ahí en la mesa. He needs to sleep. But what about you people? Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. Marco, what's up, man? How, how are you with the, back, with the backache? Ah, I surviving <laughs> with bueno sacando el maíz corn. Uh, uh, but uh, are you sick, man? Can 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 yeah 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 yeah. Está bien la espalda. Ah, uh, my back is uh, so so. No no one hundred percent percent, but man, but that's that's. That's that's, that's uh, a, I, a hard work. A few, minutes, a few minutes, I put my I put me a vaccine. Uh -huh. De mi nave 12. Uh -huh. Hace como dos minutos. Uh -huh. <laughs> my vitamina. Yeah, I mean, your vitamins. Yeah, for my headache and relax me. Man, I have been I have been doing headaches lately. And one person told me to, to recommend me basically to, to put some vaccines from B12. But, ah, es que eso de las vacunas yo no las paso. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, pre I prefer pills. En serio, que yo se tarden quiero más. mil veces la vacuna. Nah, 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 nah. Mi esposa me dice, póngaselas, póngaselas. A los, eh, 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 hacen efecto súper rápido. Así como que aunque tarden, pero mejor en pastillas. I prefer pills. My yeah. my brother uh, was medical assistant. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. In Estados Unidos, hay medical assistant or assistant medical, algo así. Mm -hmm. uh, she worked uh, be five years, uh -huh. and he he teach me <laughs> how to put vaccine. To my mom, my wife, my brother, my friends, uh -huh. uh, and yo mismo. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. Really, to yourself? I know, yep. I know how to do it to other people because I, I, I can do it, but I cannot, yep. I cannot do it by myself. <laughs> myself, yeah. <laughs> nah, man, uh, one, one time. <laughs> Um, a few six years ago, uh -huh. uh, I don't no aguantaba headache, and I put me my first vaccine. Uh -huh. Bueno, yo mismo. Uh -huh. And the, the, the day I feel very sick, man. I I was my face put white. I don't know change the colors but <laughs> okay the, the, first, the first time but ah, i learned day a day oh no but i nah, me se me va a el pie si hago eso. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, real, man. I, I'm, I'm scared of it i mean that's nah. no man the last thing and um, 2005 uh -huh. you're 2005 uh -huh. my operate my um appendicitis ah you got on a surgery from appendicitis uh -huh. yeah and i bueno pasé five months that my 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 hurt my rib uh -huh. uh, yeah, injury no sanaba Ooh. me he dejado hilos thread to my operate and Ooh. i i buy a uh, gilet and una aguja <laughs> uh, una aguja de mano uh -huh. and in a nero me abrí <laughs> i open my my <laughs> what yeah and sin sin what sin anestesia sin nada me abrí me saqué los hilos a los tres días 
¿Vos viste Rambo 1, Rambo 3? ¿qué oh, oh, la mega, mega, <ríe> at, at least, big, at, big. At, <laughs> man, at, le at least lo local anesthesia, man, that they sell in the, in the pharmacy. Yeah, uh, yes, I, they have an anesthesia topic and in the Jesus scene, but, Christ, but, but like, like making a... Un, un traguito. Un traguito. De caña rica. <laughs> de caña rica. <laughs> yeah. Ajá, ajá. Okay, creo que puedo sobrevivir. I will survive. By another site. My God, that was crazy, man. That was really crazy. Yeah. Okay, yeah. But, but everything, but all right. The good thing is that that, that, that you got it good, right? That you got it good. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Carla. Y no se diga en 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 animalitos. I I study technical. Agrícola, farm. Ah, uh -huh, uh -huh. And they and I learned to do veterinario. Uh -huh. Veterinar. And he cuidado heridas, quebraduras de perros. Eh, he sanado un montón de cosas con los animales. Ah, sí. ok. No, I mean, but that's, that's nice. That's cool. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> No, man, but it's good, it's good. Así que usted, usted es multiusos ahí, right? A multitask, yeah. a multitask person. Ya, yeah, pero eso de abrirse solo. Wow. Así como, el, como la, el, la, la, el emoji que, que puso Alfredo. Oh, wow. I see the emoji. Yeah, man. That was... Ah. Este fue tu día, Jorge. <laughs> wow. yeah. Bueno, fue su día, he dicho. passed, he, he passed by Usulu I mean, and uh, it was, it was five minutes away from my my work. Estaba como a cinco minutos de mi trabajo ahí, eh, a la calle principal, and he was passing by there. And yeah, man, he, we had a talk. Bien there. planeadito lo tenía. <laughs> Not actually, eh, fue como eso de las, como al mediodía. Very right, interesting. Jorge? He was coming. Oh. He, actually, he was coming from from La Union, right, Jorge? Right. Yeah, I mean, he was coming, and I finished uh, my first uh, shift of work. I finished at 12, and he got there by, by 1, at about 1. Yeah, I mean, he was, was there. Was there. Estaba viendo lo, lo, lo bien portado que son los... los los automovilistas acá y todo, right, Jorge? Yeah. Ahí pasan como que no vale la vida. Ya, yeah, ven aquí, sí. Que allá, allá, allá por, por, por el centro sufren de, de, de tanta trabazón. Acá no, hombre, aquí se lo pasan llevando si no se pone bus. Sí, eso, eso alcancé a observar ahí. Ya, yeah, they are like that. Y le estaba comentando a él que justamente donde estábamos en esa zona, eh, fue donde tuve un accidente que una señora se me atravesó en el carro y yo en la moto y ahí le quedé pegado ahí en el carro de la señora. That was, that was crazy. But it was, it was really good to see each other. It was nice. Okay, people, uh, it's 8.014. I'm going to pass the attendance list. We got a very interesting topic today to talk about. Uh, basically, today we're going to... Uh, this is basically the last topic that we're going to be discussing because tomorrow is going to be feedback and um, we're going to do the, the, the satisfaction survey tomorrow. So, and tomorrow will be just review from, from the whole things that we have been discussing. So just give me one second, guys. I'm going to pass the attendance list. Uh, Alfredo Alexander. Present. Okay. Amilcar Cañengues. Present. Okay, great. Carlos Gualberto. Okay, good. Let's see, Domingo Alexander. Present. Ay, qué callado ha Domingo. Let's see, Ever de Jesús. Is he ever here? Not yet. Okay. Fatima Alejandra. Present. Ay, I mean, Fatima. Okay. 
Gilmar Cruz. No, Gilmar is not here, I think. Okay, who's, who's the oriented person in here? Okay, give me one second. Jonathan Alexander. Present. Okay, good. Let me see. Jorge Elvir. Present. Got it there. Jose Matias. Yeah, I think she's not here. Carla de Nacer. Present teacher. Okay, good. Marco David. Present. Okay. Marit Salcira. Present. Great. Marlon Alberto. Marlon, Marlon, Marlon. I am in there. Okay. Good, man. Mauricio Alexander. Present teacher. Okay, great. Romeo Alexis. Present teacher. Okay, good. Rosa del Carmen. Present. Okay. Vanessa Oded. Present teacher. Okay, good. One second. Okay. Good. William Eduardo. Present. Okay, good. And then we got in here. Give me one second. Jasmine Melanie. I mean, Jasmine is. Okay, Jasmine. Let's see, Jennifer Noemi. Present. Good. This is not here. Stephanie Lisette. Nah, she's not here yet. All right. And William Alberto. Which is not here yet. All right, people. So we're going to start. Bless you. We're going to start in here. And okay, and let's start talking a little bit about the topic that we were discussing last class and last week. Uh, what do we remember, people, from the topic that we were discussing last week? What can you recall from that? Do you remember what were those topics that we were discussing last class? Any volunteer? The last Friday, uh, teacher, uh -huh. uh, I learned to give a receive instruction on company procedures. Uh -huh. How do you school? How do you school? All right, that was another one. What else? Policy. Okay, policy. we were talking about policies. Okay, what else? What is a policy, by the way? What do we understand by policy? Political. Uh, don't uh, shouldn't uh, drugs. <laughs> drugs. <laughs> okay. Uh, use drugs. Okay. Drugs. 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 I mean, like you shouldn't uh, use drugs. Okay. Uh huh. Um, stay at a time. <laughs> uh -huh. Don't. don't uh, one. Uh huh. Use late. the employees. Use the uniform, teacher. Okay. All right. Uh huh. Very good. What else? What about the rest? All right, uh, if you remember, uh, one of the things that we were discussing is uh, the uses of cold. When do we use cold, Jennifer? Perfectly, teacher. When do we use cold? Cool. Yes. For possibility. Ah, for possibility. Oh. Um, what else? Fast. Uh, a 
action the past and uh -huh. and request and request, request. okay polite, polite request all right polite request okay very good we can use it like that for a specific time in the past let's remember right i couldn't finish my homework last week right so basically last week makes you have all right that environment or that that context that the whole sentence is in past right or if i say i couldn't finish the homework uh, so in that case it's like an unfinished action right that probably uh, you were thinking of doing it but you haven't done it yet right it's an action that is not finished all right so we can say that uh we also were discussing the uses of should as you said and uh, we were uh, like like talking that should is basically to provide advice right or recommendations and as Amincar said that on friday we were discussing about procedures right and policies especially we were focusing on how to ask for permission right how to ask for permission that was like the first thing that we were doing uh-huh and uh, let me let, 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 let me see let's say fatima 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 when you ask for a permission what do you have to do first or what is the procedure that you do when you ask for permission in your work Yo solo le pido permiso a mi jefe inmediato, teacher. Pero. ¿Qué es eso? I mean, mm -hmm. hey, look, I'm not going to come tomorrow, all right? Uh, uh, pero, pero sí, tengo que tener un comprobante dependiendo de, por, por ejemplo, si es por enfermedad, mm -hmm. por. En algunas ocasiones por estudio, pero eh, solo mi jefe inmediato. Ajá, ajá. Okay. okay, there you go. Okay, but what about the process that Amilcar has? Let's see because the, yours was so simple. But what, Amil, what about Amilcar? In my case, teacher, I sent to email uh, by uh, my um, my my boss. Ah, you sent an email. Uh huh. Yes, and to ne, uh, annex or what is? Uh -huh. attach, annex, to attach? Attach a, a document or copy the, the reason for my, uh, for my um, permiso, permission. Uh -huh. Permission, uh -huh. Que puede ser uh, una copia de la cita en el seguro. Uh -huh. Y si es una razón personal, pues le explico la razón. Luego uh -huh. lleno una forma uh -huh. que es enviada a recursos humanos. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. All right. Uh, but in that case, who tells you that is approved or denied? Mm, the procedure is cool or not. Uh, in that case, who tells you that your permission is approved or denied? Human resources or your boss? I don't understand this. Excuse me. All right. Who tells you, hey, Amilcar, your permission is approved or your permission is not approved? Human resources or your boss? Mm, no, 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 no. <laughs> the answer uh, is immediately approved, approved but uh, I need to attach the information very well. Uh -huh. uh, con suficiente tiempo también. Uh -huh. O sea, no se niegan los permisos, pero tienen que ir bien documentados. Ah, ok. Bien. O sea que ahí si se quería la playa. Nada que ver. Nothing, right? Yeah. Gotta work. <laughs> ah, okay. Ni que se quiera no, hacer el enfermo ahí. Eh. Y la canción de personal. 
O sea que si nos vamos para la playa y ahí hay otro día su trabajo y hay el puesto lleno, ahí you were like, what? Where is my office? Ok. All right, all right. Ok, so then, then you have a process, right? I think most of you doesn't have that much process. For example, Jennifer, I think Jennifer simplemente es una, what? Es incapacidad, all right, because you're sick. So you just present the, the, that one, that document, and that's it, right, Jennifer? No, I have a to request in writing. Huh? Specify uh, the reason why the. Really? Well, I know I you would do? not appear. Y lo tengo que engrapar con, pues ya, si tengo un comprobante, si es personal, igual tiene que ir por escrito. Isn't that a. Uh... Uh, uh, but that, that, that's in the school, right? Sí. Wow, really? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Teacher, okay. no, llevo no llevo maquillaje y no se permiten los pantalones. Es What? de esperarse que me pidan por, mi, mi, por escrito mi permiso. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, you're right. You're right, es cierto. Tiene razón. You're right. <laughs> Okay, the good thing about that is that you don't work on Saturdays. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they don't work on Saturdays. That's the good thing. All right, okay. Let me see who's another one that might be like kind of kind of processes like that. For example, Rosa, what do you do when you ask for permission in your work? What is the procedure that you do? Ay, teacher, para decirle que de, la, de los aproximadamente dos años que llevo trabajando ahí, solo una vez me he incapacitado. ¿Really? Sí, le, le, gusta, dedo. le gusta bastante el trabajo. Ay, Dios. Lo que no tenía excusa era otra cosa. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Ah, oh, ok. All right. Okay, good. Uh, and let's, let's see the last person. The last person. Marco. Yeah, tell me. Uh, in your company, like to request a permission, what, what is the procedure that you that you that you do? The procedures is if uh if to go to the east, uh -huh. uh, I talk with my boss, immediately boss, and uh, he Give me a, a, a info. Give me my name, my my boss, immediate, immediately boss, uh, in the reason and go to the clinic, uh -huh. uh, clinic uh, empresarial, and they put me a, a seal, safe. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. If if no have the seal. Uh, I don't, I don't out of my company. Ah, oh, really? But, he, but if that if for the is or because I I I am staying sick, but mm -hmm. if our personal mm -hmm. permission personal, I I do the the same. Procedure, but I go to human resource and they has asked me, uh, what, ¿qué voy a hacer? what you're going to do. Uh -huh. um, if they, oh, <laughs> I, 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 I have, I have to, to give, give. Give the 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 comprobant. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. if, you want, if if don't want don't want uh, traer comprobante. If you don't bring the, the receipt, uh huh. Yeah, and they uh, of my septimo and day. I they remove your seventh day. Yeah, seventh day. Okay. It, That's a very long process, man. And yeah. you're working in there in the same company with Carlos Gualberto, right? 
Carlos Alberto and Marlon. Ah, and Marlon. So Carlos and Marlon has to do the same process if they want to, 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 to request a permission. Yeah. Jesus. If don't have other person that you replace that. Uh -huh, that you uh, that, uh, that can replace to you? No, not permission personal. Ooh, okay. I mean that's a that's a very kind of like strict process. Yeah. But it's... are you are you people going to have vacations? Or do you do you have vacations especially today in Christmas? I mean this yeah, coming month. We have, we have vacation in Holy Week. Ah, okay. Uh, seven day. Uh -huh. Seven day and uh, seven day and December. Uh, Christmas, seven day too, ah, and okay. the other day is special day of day of father, day of mother, day ah, of work. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, because those ones yeah. are day off, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Because that th those days are. Yeah, I mean, they had to give it to you. Yeah. Man, uh, I mean, working in those companies are very strict. Yeah. It's very strict and. Seven day, it's the very daily <laughs> the uh, of of the people. Uh -huh. If you if if you don't complex, como se dice? If you don't accomplish, uh -huh. with a requisite of the receive. Uh huh. Ah, she don't have. Alma, como si, no tiene alma so, para descontar. So, ajá, so, I mean, so, yeah, I mean, they don't got the, the, the guts to, to, to remove your, your payment. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Uh, and I heard that because it's my money. It's <laughs> my money. In the, they don't need that, that money, but it's a form how they. This is the way, right? How they, how they do it. Basically, mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, that's that's very strict, really, yeah, really, yeah. really strict. But anyway, no, okay. But at, at least, at least we got work, right? That's that's the good thing. At least we gotta work. All right, people, good people. So we're gonna start a little, uh, talking a little bit about the topic that we're gonna have for tonight. And uh, let me see if I can do this. Okay. So this is a video conference number 19. And today's topic is going to be how to use if and when to join classes. All right. I think, if I'm not wrong, I think you have seen a little bit about this topic in the previous module. Have you have you have you listened or have you taught basically uh, how to use if and how to use when to join classes? Have you ever heard about these these words? ¿Han escuchado hablar de estas palabras if and when para unir frases o yes. oraciones? Yes, teacher. Ah, yes. Okay. When do we use if? If is a conditional. Conditional. Ah, okay. If is basically to represent conditional, right? Very good. It says, if tomorrow is cold, I won't take a shower. It says, right? Good. That's mm -hmm. a condition, right? Si amanece frío mañana, no me bañe. All right. That's a condition, right? Good. If I win the lottery, I will I I will stop teaching. <laughs> no, no, no. I will say I will become rich. All right? Yeah, I mean that's 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 cool. That's that will be cool. Everybody will be cool, right? In that case. But anyways, and when when do we use when? Aparte when... de ser aparte de ser una WH word. Ajá. Porque más que todo lo, lo utilizamos para hacer preguntas, right? Para preguntar. When to Ajá. express, when to express condition or 
uh, situation. Ah, okay, very good. Yeah, in this case, when is another word that is used to express condition. Okay, it's to express condition, right? So if and when both of them are used to express condition. But in this case, let's let's study this these two words just just as word to join <laughs> phrases. Okay, just just to join phrases. That would be the one, right? Uh, today we're not gonna be talking like like about uh, conditions merely. We're not gonna be talking about uh, uh, writing specific structures, but we're gonna create sentences, you know, like like linking one sentence with another one using these words. So that's going to be today's topic. So let's let's go on. Hey, look, I mean, Matias took a shower today. Nice, Matias. Okay. Yes. Hoy tocaba, man. Hoy tocaba. <laughs> Good, man. La carrera, ¿no? Que venía lleno de grasa y tinta porque Mi hermano tuvo un problema en la moto, entonces ah. tuve que ir a auxiliarlo. Ah, ok, ok. All right, nice man. Pero ahorita no lo he entendido, así es que sigan, sigan, ah, ya ah, lo voy a hallar. Yes, ok. That was crazy. Ok, it says, the kind of agenda that we're going to have for the rest of the class, it says, we're going to have a review from the previous class or classes, the one that we gave already. We're gonna provide the examples. You you showed me some examples about the uses of should, right? Uh, of in um, procedures to ask for permission. Right now, we're gonna talk a little bit about how to use if and when to join classes. Then we're gonna practice a conversation about that topic, and at the end, we're going to work in the manual with some examples and exercises, right? So this is pretty much what we have for the rest of the class. Let's continue. Let's start with the question, some questions to discuss with you. And the first question, Maritza, tell me a reading, please. What happens if an employees, employee in your company show up so, late? Shows up late. You shows. know when it show up? Show up is a phrasal verb. That's a phrasal verb. Show up. Show is mostrar, right? Up is la preposición para decir arriba. Up. Show up. But show up means, for example, for example, in here uh, we got 20 people in the class. Actually, I uh, have 24. 24 people in the class. But let's suppose Matias is not here. Okay. Let's let's put it like that, right? There is an, uh, a student that is called Matias, but Matias is not here. Okay, and Amilcar says, Matias didn't show up to class. Right? Matias did not show up to class. Okay. What is show up? Show up is a synonym of the verb come. Come. What is come? Venir. Exactly, right? Entonces, show up es básicamente como cuando usted no va a un lugar. Ah, y dice, ah, no ha venido, right? No mm -hmm. se ha presentado. Okay? In that case. That is show up. Mm -hmm. So now the question has more sense, right? Ahora la pregunta tiene más sentido, right? What happens if an employee in your company shows up late? So let's talk a little bit about this. But teacher, yes, se presenta tarde. But the idea finally this the sentences or or the question show late up or no show up late. Yeah, I mean that's the no one. No se ha presentado tarde. Huh? Allí sería que se ha llegado tarde. Yes, yes. ¿Qué sucede o qué pasa? O ha venido tarde. Exactly. En su compañía. Porque show up tarde. dijo que era una afirmación en negativo. Digo, una aseveración en, en, en negativo. Show up ah, sí. no ha venido. Ah. ¿Es así? Ah. No, no, no. No, no, venido. no, no, no. no, no es venido. de venir. Dije, no es, es sinónimo del verbo come, de venir, de llegar, de presentarse. 
right? Uh, yo lo había tomado como que no, the example, era lo contrario, the example, decir, no, no, no the, the example that I showed up, el ejemplo que di sobre Matías es que era en negativo. All right? But in that case, okay. it means presentarse, right? O llegar, okay, venir, uh, dependiendo del contexto en que lo usemos. Show, Eben, yeah. él, él, él dijo que era mostrar, show, ¿verdad? Yeah, show es básicamente mostrar, right? Como verbo, mostrar, right? Show como nombre es un show que hacen ya sea eh, un show animado, payasos, whatever, right? Ok. And, es un espectáculo. Exacto. Pero con el show, con el loop. Y con el up. Up, up, ya up. es presentarse, right? Es una frase something. Exactly, that's a phrase of word. Okay, now the question has more sense. It says, what happens if an employee in your company shows up late? All right, let's think, people. Let's think. Without writing down, sin escribir. Piensen en algo que me puedan mencionar. ¿Qué, qué sucede? What happens? Si uno de sus compañeros llega tarde, ¿qué, qué, qué le dicen? What, what happens to, to him or her? What happens? All right? My boss. Um... ¿Cómo se dice? Le llama la atención. Eh, mm -hmm. Warns. Warns him or her. Warns him. Yeah, warns. My boss, my boss warns him. Warns. 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 Warn. For, for in the future, next to day, and the scond the day. Ah, really? The complete day? Yes. <laughs> so... That person works for free that day. Yes. This is nice. Okay. Nice. So basically, the first show up late is a warning. The second day is a discount of that day. We joke about the arrive at at work. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Milka. What happened if a if a, a coworker gets late or shows up late? What happened to that person? For example, uh, the uh, we say we say, hey, look, my new boss, or hey, he changed. You changed oh, yeah. the my new boss. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the uh, schedule, schedule at work. Uh huh. Then we jog another for another way. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. But uh, you jog. Uh, and what about the, the superiors? What do they say? Ah, uh, immediately, uh, my uh, my coworker right away uh, in front of the, the boss and explain the reason for be late. For being late. <laughs> okay, if there is not a good reason, man. Um, Just imagine if you get late, if you say, hey, look, uh, tuve que ayudar a una señora a cruzar la calle, that's why I'm late. <laughs> so what's up in that case? In the in in this case, uh, you you have uh, he has a problem, but uh -huh. the procedures, but the permission is very boring and complicated. Ah, uh -huh. Singapore, uh, and he. Como última consecuencia, hasta se puede ganar una amonestación. No, en happened? serio, mi trabajo es serio. En se la toman happened? bien en serio eso de las llegadas tardes. En mm -hmm. en 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 mi caso, las llegadas en ah. mi caso, las llegadas tarde son, o sea, ahí, ahí a mí no me andan diciendo nada, ¿va? no me molestan casi que en nada, pero en las llegadas son bien estrictos, porque el viejito es bien estricto, él dice que a las 5 ya está levantado. Aunque él llegue a las nueve, pero a las cinco dice que él ya está levantado. Dice. Entonces, okay. entonces ah. cuando yo, yo me acuerdo de que una vez llegué a las ocho y siete, me regresó el hijo de su madre. Sí, no, me, me regresó y no, me regresó y, 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 
y otro que llegó un ratito después de mí, a él sí lo dejó entrar. Entonces, a mí sí me molestó eso. Guay, a mí, Ay, yo, yo, yo hice de todo, pero al final no me descontaron el día. A mí es que descansé. <risa> Todo bueno, me ah, regresaron a descansar. Ahí sí ganando. Ahí sí salí ganando. De, 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 y fue problema ese también, porque después decían de que yo era el niño bonito del otro jefe, el más alto de él, ¿va? el jefe de él. Entonces, y que yo sobrepasaba su autoridad, decía, y bueno, era antes de genera ahí. Pero era cierto, que era, que este, era cierto. Y, y, y este Matías, y es que así como que, ¿qué pasó ahí? Pues sí. <ríe> no, Miguel, es el dueño, el viejito es el dueño. Ah. Él es el dueño, pero como el hijo ha quedado de jefe general, general va de la empresa, entonces el hijo manda al papá. Ah. Ajá. Entonces, ah. Y yo soy bien chero con el hijo, pero cuates, ah. hasta nos tratamos de, de, de malas palabras encima. ¿va? Somos Ahí le cuates. lleva las pizzas. En el... ah. No, hombre, no, no tomamos, no, yo no tomo ni tampoco él, va. pero. pero... Sí, somos Jorge con el tiche. <risa> Ay, ella huevo que ahora el teacher ahí estaba con todo sí, con, ah, sí. con, con, el teacher. Buena, con los cocos man. locos con los cocos cocos locos con piquetes algo le detecta a los cocos para Jorge pero es que el teacher está un poco raro ahora oh, o sea, ahí, 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 los, ahí, ahí, ahí los compramos en, en la calle ahí está bonito ese niño siempre se suele poner ahí a vender ya, mira, quieres... A un niño le compramos. No, eh, y próximamente toda esa zona ahí, en el background de la foto, toda esa zona se supone que va a ser eh, zona comercial, van a construir gasolinera y un centro comercial. Bueno, pues, ya cambiaron la plática. That's nice. That's nice. Nah, man, eh, ahí eh, andamos de había... malas pulgas ahora. Eh. En la cadena que iba a ver ahí. Hey, yo fue, hoy fue, hoy fue, hoy fue, hoy no fue rosa. Hay, hay cadena. Jesús, <risa> <risa> hay de este, bro. Ya, yeah, man. All right. ¿Cuándo, so, ¿Cuándo hay cadena? ¿Cuándo hay cadena? Vi que dijeron que cadena. Ahora. Eh, ¿Qué hora hay cadena? Ayo Club. Vale. Eh, ya, 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 rato. Yes. Uh, okay. Pero ahorita le aviso a mi, a mi señora. <laughs> Friday, I'm going to be talking about something, something related to the new, new thing about the virus. Maybe. That will be one of the things. All right, Amilcar. So that is a big process, right? So and and, and and okay, but but when you mean amonestation, right? When when you see a warning or amonestation, what you mean? Um, to uh, no pay uh, day and septimo, I don't know. Ah, the seventh day. Ah, okay. Yes. Me yes. too. Yes. Oh, uh, to. To save the the information in 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 your carpeta, como que se dice, en su archivo. In your o sea, file. En su expediente. En su expediente. En okay. recursos humanos. Ah. Okay. Ya se le pone una etiquetita allí, se le pone una etiquetita como, hey, este es, por ejemplo, si alguien se molesta y reclama, hey, este le gusta reclamar, ¿verdad? ya lo ya lo van calificando. Y, y si alguien es. Es my case, ya me hubieran quitado. Es my case. Pero por Amilcar, increíble que parezca, tengo 12 años de estar allí. ¿Y cuántas o sea, tienes? O, o la empresa me aguanta o yo soy cuerudo. ¿Y cuántas, cuántas etiquetitas <risa> tienes? Bueno, yeah, 12 years. Amilcar, ¿en how many etiquetas do you have there? Mix. Yeah, Tengo una you. mezcla de todo. Pero ¿cuánto? Soy por llegar, sindicalista. Por llegar tarde. Ah, por, por eso no lo quitan, si es un sindicato. Ah, ¿Cómo? Ah, no, 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 me no, no, me no. De los que tira piedra y cae mal. No, no, llega a pintar las paredes del jefe y después le dice, jefe, me la pinto. Así cuando, pues, así cuando. <ríe> Con razón, entonces. Yeah, I mean, no, ahora el temor exactly. pienso que es quitarme por lo que me podrían dar, así que me aguanta. Ya 12 años es 12 años, ¿no? Yeah, yeah too man. Much, too it's... much money. Es bastante dinero. Mejor lo vamos a aguantar. Sí, cabal. <risa> <risa> okay. 
Claro, no, fíjense que, fíjense que a veces no, no, se, tra no se trata solo de, de aguantar, sino que si la persona hace bien el trabajo, Exacto. por muy mal que se porte, no lo quitan. No lo quitan, fans. porque sí, la experiencia manda, porque yo he conocido yes. bolos, hey, bolos, bolos, <risa> pero no los quitan, hey, ganan 800 dólares y no es los que quitan. No hay, no hay bolos sin suerte, Matías. No, I mean, hey, pero true, pueden, true, pueden, true. pueden imprimir, <risa> pueden trabajar, yeah. va. Pero, pero yeah. como pueden trabajar, no, los aguantan, eh. Yo digo que yo fuera jefe, yo los lo trabajos le quedan chingada. mejor cuando están bolos, cuando están sobrios, así dicen, quedan de la patada. No, así you know dicen, hey, no es paja, así dicen. You know what, you know what, I have, a, I have a relative, tengo un familiar lejano, por así decirlo, que es esposo de una prima, que él, él no hay día que no tome, for real, he drinks every oh. single day, but you know what, él cuando no toma, ni manejar puede. Really, oh, yeah. él maneja mejor andando borracho, ¿verdad? This is weird. Y él le hace a la albañilería, a fontanería, y le hace casa. Mil usos. I mean, yeah, I mean, like, like Marco. Like Marco, like that. Similar Marco. Yeah, I mean, similar to Marco. Marco can do whatever thing. Anda bolito Marco. Anda yeah. <laughs> bolito Marco. <laughs> no, I don't like that. I, I eso, like that's why, it, that's why the back is, right? <laughs> <laughs> With the food I, I, I entry. Ah, okay, all right. Yeah. You saw that, Marco. No, nah, neither saw that because nah, you got a back nah. ache. Yeah, I mean, for the spalda. <laughs> yeah. My God. No, yeah, I mean, but, the coffee, people, but the coffee. Uh, all the time, man. All the time. Oh, all the time. Uh, I was drink 12 cups a day, but Jesus. now I resist the. The temptation. I only drink one, I... two. Ah, man. That, uh, that's, that's very five. Cool. Maybe five. Maybe, Maybe five, five cups. Ah, yes. Okay. The Twelve. Twelve. Acceptable. Uh, oh, okay. To five is. is... Mm -hmm. uh -huh. the... Okay. That's acceptable. That's acceptable. So let's see. Let's continue, people. Because uh, it just uh, Matias and Amilcar has said uh, something. But what about? Uh, Ever, what happens if a coworker shows up late in the place where you work? What happened to that uh, coworker? Or what do you do? Hi, man. And it's like a, it's like a, how do you say, a milk car. You really? take a job. In the start, they take a job, but in the in the week you have a around the one hour to when you the time uh -huh. distributed in the different day you have como una hora de de, de no penalización sino que para que usted pueda llegar tarde por el tema del tráfico y todo eso. Ajá, uh ajá. -huh. Uh -huh. O sea, nunca llegan temprano, es <ríe> mentira. Llegan, uh -huh. que pasa a las 8 o 10, entonces se ha tomado esa determinación de una hora en la semana, eh, distribuido en los siete días, como, digamos, ser un poco más condescendiente por el tema del tráfico. Puedan llegar 8 15, 8 10. Ya, uh -huh. justificar, justi without justificator. Uh -huh. eh, ya. Yeah, Thirty minutes of day or one hour of day without justificator, we put in a penal, una penalización. Penalization. Yeah. Ah, okay. Okay. If uh, from the the uh, one seventh, séptimo, como dijo que decía. Ah, the seventh, the seventh day. The seventh day, or. Or, or days, days of the day off. Uh, sí, también uh, eh, para no ser tan así, eh, se ha puesto también un cofrecito. Si usted llega más de 30 minutos tarde, usted puede depositar ahí 5 dólares y al final del mes, pues ya eh, se hace lo que es como una. Un bueno, es como una. <risa> 
ya, ya va a ir para el happy hour, Mira, ya, ya va a ir para Jorge, va solo pensando en, 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 los, en los coctelitos. No, <risa> mire, eh, 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 y a, a la persona que no tiene o tiene menos llegadas tarde, se le hace un reconocimiento por el esfuerzo. Entonces ah. se, te, te dan esas dos opciones, es como que usted venga y llegue 45 minutos tarde de mañana uh -huh. y, y pues no quiere que le pongan la penalización, eh, se, usted dice, madre, tiene tres dólares o dos dólares que depositen, es que al final de mes se le da como un reconocimiento al que menos llegó tarde, como un ah. incentivo y, para, y como para incentivar a las demás personas de que lo hagan también. Ah, ok, good, good. Es un poquito más condescendiente, sí. That's nice, that's nice. Good. Aquí tengo algunos que ya hubieran llenado. Tres, 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 Uh, my my company uh, is uh, uh, all of the law. Es así, uh -huh. all, all of the law. Toda la de ley. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh, lo de work código established. Established. Uh -huh. Ajá, lo que el código establece, uh, uh, core, lo que el código de trabajo establece, uh, igual, si uno, pero, ¿cómo se dice? De, depende, ¿cómo se dice? Depende de okay. my box. Depends depende on de my box. Uh, depends on my box. Uh, uh, por ejemplo, my, my box uh, is con, considerado. Como es bastante flexible. Es, es como, It's very flexible. Es, ajá. Eh, no problem con. Eh, es de, solo se llena eh, fórmula. Eh, ajá. Eh, el for, la, la fórmula y el formulario. Ajá. Form, ajá, de form. Para que no le dé. Eh, de, 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 como se depende también de, de, del tiempo, del time. Uh, ah. eh, you can use, uh -huh, is, is a, is acumula, acumulable, va. Is acumulable. Uh -huh, is acumulable. Eh, mm -hmm, de eh, 15, ah, uh, no, 30, 30, uh -huh. Uh -huh. 30 minutos, minutos. minutos. Es, Minis, ajá, 30 minis, uh, en 15, 15 days, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo era que era quincena? Ah, what is it? Ah, what is it, ajá. Let me see, eh, let me see if your, your, your cat knows it. What do you say, quincena, eh, people? Ajá. Let me see if they can, they, they have to know it. They know vocabulary. Uh -huh. Matías, eh, Alberto, uh, Alfredo, Maritza, Fátima. ¿Qué es quincena? Ajá. Quartify, algo así era. ¿Ah? Quartify. 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 ¿Estás serio? No, no. Serious? no, no. Nah. Party. It's likely similar to the. Quartify. Is likely similar to the name 40. of a game. Uh -huh. Era 45. Fortnite. Fortnite. Ah, there you go. Free Fire. Fortnite. 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 <laughs> yeah, I mean, Fortnite, right? Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, if. Uh, um, um, it's, it's in my world. Ah, okay. All right. Uh -huh. Understandable. Let's see the last participation. Jonathan, what about your work? Jonathan? 
Hola. Uh, how about your work? What happens if uh, uh, one of your co-workers shows up late to the work? What happened to that person? Sure, in my case, I can arrive, I can arrive later, later at time. Really? Because, because I arrive before at time. So you can you can get late to work and no problem. Order, for other place on the computer. Uh -huh. I receive the client. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And if you tell the person, sorry. You do a mess. Ah, okay. So basically you cannot get late. If you get late, there is a mess in there. Ah, okay. That's acceptable. Más enojado los clientes, right? <laughs> and what do you do when you are sick and can't work? Let me see. I just want some kind of participation and then we're going to move on. In this case, with Jennifer. Jennifer, are you there? Yes, sure. In All right. the case, uh -huh. the church has um, five cents for a planning. What do you mean by five cents? Five cents. The pregunta es que, compañeros, cuando llegamos tarde, ¿no? Ah, no, no, no. The second one. What do you do when you are sick and can't work? Uh, ¿Qué pasa cuando? Oh, what do you do when? That's the second. Sí. Ah, a mí, así me pasa la de Vanessa. Yo no, no me he enfermado desde que he empezado a trabajar ahí. Ah, really? Yeah. Good, man. Good. Man. No tiene estrés. Yeah, I mean, she doesn't <laughs> suffer just from estrés. That no voy a trabajar really. enferma también. Ah, really? Ajá, ajá. Ya imagino los pobres niños con una mirada así como que siéntese. <ríe> sentadito el niño. <ríe> no, ellos ya saben, ya siempre están sentaditos. <ríe> ajá, ya saben, si no les cae. Ok. <ríe> ok. Ajá, pues let, let me see. Rosa. Ah, no, I mean, Rosa said that, that she doesn't get sick, right? Ok, no problem, Rosa. Maritza. <ríe> With Maritza, mm. I want to listen the uh, mm. I want to listen the participation of Maritza and then Carla, and we're gonna end up in that. Aha, yeah, Maritza. That, teacher. Yes, right after Maritza's comment. Aha, in Maritza. my case, in my case, uh -huh. I call my immediate immediate boss. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Then I report to human. Resource Ajá. that I will know a read. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. Y ya después, cuando me presento, tengo que llevar si tengo incapacidad o algo, lleno el formulario, mm -hmm. le anexo incapacidad y, y lo paso a autorización. Ah, ok. Ok, good, good. Very good. So then Carla, but Carla, give me a second. I'm going to press the attendance list and then I want to listen right to you. Let me see. Okay, Alfredo Alexander. And I mean, he's, he's, he's talking on the phone. Okay. He, have a uh -huh, he has a call. Yeah. Uh, Milkar Cayenges. Present teacher. Okay, good. Let's see, Carlos Gualberto. Present teacher. Good, Domingo Alexander. Present. Excellent, Ever de Jesus. Present. Very nice, Fatima Alejandra. Present. Very good, Hilmar Cruz. I and mean, Hilmar didn't show up. Okay. That's weird. Jonathan Alexander. 
Jonathan, ok, Jonathan. Uh, Jorge Elvir. Present. Good. Jose Matías. I'm here. Perfect. Uh, Carla Benazir. Carla. Carla. Okay. Hi, teacher. <laughs> All right, Carla. Marco David. Present. Very good. Maritza Alcira. I'm here. Very nice. Marlon Alberto. Okay. Is it Marlon online? Marlon? Okay, I guess he's there, but he's kind of busy. Romeo Alexis? I barely listen, Romeo, but I think you're there. Rosa del Carmen? Good, man. Present. Ah, okay, good. Vanessa Odette? Present. Okay, great. William Eduardo? Present. Nice. And Jasmine Melanie, who is there, right? Then Jennifer Noemi? Present. Okay. It's not here. Uh, Stephanie Lisset. Present. Okay, great. And the last one, William Alberto, which is not here. All right, Carla, before we move on, want to listen to your participation? Uh, I have um, I have never been disabled teacher and way, but I need to do something personal. Uh -huh. I ask for my boss and uh -huh. I for permission I fill out the form. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. So you fill down the form and, and the permission is given to you. Yes. With no problem. Así no más. I mean that's easy. That's pretty cool. I wish I could do that. The sería que si fuera like the, the, the type of work I do. Uh, yeah, I mean if I don't find any anyone to cover my classes, eh, there's no permission allowed. Uh, Jesus. But anyway. All right, cool. Now just give me one second. I'm gonna present the Okay, the slide, it was there. Okay, when and if, when to use them. Ah, let me see, Vanessa, help me a reading, please. Okay, when and if, when and if have similar meaning. Uh -huh. We use when for usual situation and if for unusual situation. Ah, okay, very good. Okay, that is this. When and if have similar meaning, right? Uh, when basically is used for usual situations or common situations and if is mostly for unusual situations, right? All right, good. But both of them got the same meaning. So it means both of them can be done uh, in the same sentence. Okay? Now, uh, let's see. Maritza, help me out reading the second one. Both clauses have, have to be in simple present. Use a comma when, if, or when. Come at the beginning. Come um, at the beginning, very good. What does it mean? Rosana, one peculiar thing that this, this type of word have is that, listen, they are two sentences, right? Since they are two sentences. Basicamente son dos oraciones las que tenemos ahí. What happened? Listen, it says, use a comma when, if or when, come at the beginning. Significa que si usamos la palabra when o if, al principio de una oración, ok, básicamente tenemos que colocar una coma para dividir ambas oraciones. Causa y efecto, por así decirlo, right? 
Pero ¿qué sucede cuando el when or if va en medio de la oración? There's no any comma needed. Entonces ahí ya no necesitamos ningún tipo de coma. All right? So we will see some examples in here and we will uh, be practicing this structure. So in that case, you can understand better. I don't know if you're taking notes about this, so I can move on. Good. Check this out. Examples. In this case, let's put it this. Ever, help me on reading the question, please. What do you do when you forget your tool for work? Ah, okay. This is a question using when as a situation, right? What do you do when you forget your tool for work? Good. Stephanie, let's read the first one. Read. See? Okay, I ask, ask for a backup set Back, when. Backup, uh huh. Uh, I forget to talk tools. My tools. Ah, tools. <laughs> yeah, tools. By the way, what is tools, people? Thank you, Stephanie. Herramientas. Herramientas. Okay. Very good. I ask for a backup set when I forget my tools. What does it mean? ¿Qué significa ahí? Listen up. In this case, we got two different sentences, right? Listen. Solicito. In this case, listen. In this case, give me one second. It says, in here, in here, in here is sentence number one. This is the connector. Okay. This is just a connector. And this one is the sentence number two. Okay, in here, in here, acá básicamente está unida en una sola oración, ok, pero ahí básicamente se le conoce, recuerden, se le conoce como oración, or sentence, or clause, a aquella que está compuesta de subject, verb, and complement, ok, tiene que tener esos tres indicativos, and what happened in here, look, we got the subject in here, we got the verb ask, and then a complement, We got the subject in here, I. We got the verb, forget. And we got a complement, my tools. Okay, that's why, that's why when this goes the other way around, it works differently. For example, look. What happened if this type of example is, is the other way around, backwards? Look. When I forget my tools, esta es oración uno. Y acá tiene que ir dividida por una coma. I ask for a backup set. Check this out. In this case, ahora sí, y aquí ya tengo separadas las dos oraciones. Check this out. Both of them. ¿Cuál es lo peculiar en estas oraciones así? Que acá, a diferencia del uso del primer condicional, que básicamente el primer condicional es una oración en presente simple, la otra en futuro. Tenemos dos estructuras muy diferentes. ¿okay? Acá no. Acá ambas oraciones van a ir en presente simple. Right? Algunos a esta estructura se le conoce como zero conditional. Right? Zero conditional. Right? Pero en este caso no nos vamos a enfocar más que todo en esto, sino más bien a usar las palabras como conectores. Right? As connectors. That's what we're going to be focusing on today. He says, I ask for a backup set when I forget my tools. Or, when I forget my tools, I ask for a backup set. So we got it both ways, right? The other way what around. What is backup set, teacher? Backup means respaldo. Okay, that's what it means. Backup set is un set, un set de respaldo. Okay. ¿Qué, qué, qué pasa si olvida, si olvida sus herramientas? Ah, tiene herramientas de respaldo. That's what it says in there, right? Backup means respaldo. Eh, backup básicamente lo puede usar en todo aspecto. Like when you have uh, information in your phone and you want to make a backup y quiere hacer un respaldo sobre esa información. All right, you okay. can use it as a backup, right? That's what it is. 
yeah back up good so let's move another one take a look take a look at this que significa en este caso que podemos usar if y podemos usar when remember at the beginning right entonces acá ya la tenemos de nuevo look I asked for a backup set as I was putting right this was the example that I was I was I was putting there right Good. ¿Podemos colocar esto con if? Claro que sí. Lo podemos hacer. How come? Check this out. If I forget my tools, I ask for a backup set. I ask for a Backup set if I forget my tools. I can do this too, right? And there is no difference. Why no difference? Because both, both structures, both words, means the same. Porque ambas básicamente funcionan para lo mismo, right? Ambas en este caso están sirviendo de conectores, okay? To show something. Básicamente ahí lo que están haciendo es sirviendo de conectores o puentes para unir dos oraciones. That's what it got in here. Good. Until now, do you have any question? Hasta acá, ¿tenemos alguna pregunta? Something that might not be clear for you right now? You can ask people if you have a question. Forget. Forget. Olvidar. Okay. Yes. Aha, uh -huh, Milker. I remember that um, someone uh, a homework. Uh -huh. uh, I fall the the in my in my answer when I use when use a uh, when donde uh -huh. era if y viceversa. Entonces, pero estoy viendo que acá usted puede hacer O sea, como que el when y el if caen en la misma en la misma sintonía en una en una oración. Exacto. Porque, por ejemplo, when you forget when you forget your tool for work o, o bueno, quizás ese no es el buen ejemplo, sino este otro. Cuando dice I ask for a backup set when I forget my tools. Ajá. O puedo if I forget my tools. O sea, okay. al final el when o el if viene a significar lo mismo. Exactly. O por lo menos da la misma idea. Exactly. En este, en este, en este tipo de estructuras sí básicamente significan lo mismo. Ok. Básicamente es lo mismo si usted dice cuando olvido mis herramientas pido una de respaldo. O si sí, olvido mis herramientas pido una de respaldo. You see? Es básicamente el mismo tipo de significado. Right? What is pero the difference? The word. Pero en la plataforma me denegó alguna, algunas. No, o me denegó la... Listen, listen, listen. En la plataforma lo que pasa es que ya está establecido una respuesta concreta. Ahí no es una oh, open okay. one. Por eso. That's why. Ok. Y acuérdense que bien, no se bien. pueden colocar, no se pueden colocar más de una que esté correcta. Tiene que ser un estático. Only one. That's why. Ok. Bien. That's the reason. Good. Any other question? I think we're okay with this. Let me see. Yeah. Where is Domingo? I am in his beer. I thought he was, he left. All right. Let's continue with this. Look. Now let's see some examples using, using F. Look. Let me see who can help me out with this. Vanessa, tell me a reading. What do you do if you miss the company transportation? Ah, okay. Thank you. Now, Romeo, tell me a reading the answer. Uh, uh, taxi is I miss the company transportation. Okay, I call a taxi if I miss 
the company transportation. Very good. Now, Carlos Walberto, help me out with this one. If I miss the company transportation, I call a taxi. Uh -huh. Okay, very good. If you take a look in there, the situation is likely similar to the other one. Okay, with the difference that in here we are using the word if and no when. Okay. ¿Qué es o como la diferencia que podemos encontrar entre when and if al momento de usarlas? Look, in this example, it says, listen, I call a taxi if I miss the company transportation. Okay, in this case, this is like kind of unusual situation. Esto es básicamente cuando nosotros no estamos acostumbrados a que este tipo de sucesos pasen. ¿Cómo así? Solo en caso de, en caso de perder el transporte, ¿ok? Entonces yo hago esa acción, ¿all right? Entonces, if, por eso es más usado con casos más, menos comunes. Por eso decía en la, en, la, en, la, en la definición. For unusual situations, ¿cómo así? Si en un dado caso yo hago esto, o me pasa esto, ah, hago esto. When es más que todo para situaciones que pasan más regularmente, ¿ok? Es cuando algo es más regular que suceda. ¿Qué significa eso? Que probablemente si usted va para el trabajo y pierde el transporte, ¿qué? De, cinco, de, siete, de seis días que trabaja y lo pierde tres días. ¿Ok? So, something like regular for you to happen. Entonces, that would be the difference. If es más como para unusual situations, right? Para situaciones no tan comunes. And when es más que todo para situaciones comunes. Esa sería como la, la, la diferencia entre ellas dos, right? One is more common than the other one in that aspect. Okay? Una para situaciones más comunes y la otra para no tan comunes. Okay? But they happen. Good. Any question up to now? No, teacher. All right. Cool. Okay. What, what do I need right now? Listen, listen. If you see, we have been working with questions, right? Si ven en cada ejemplo... Eh, está una pregunta. There is one question and two possible answers, right? Look, what do I really want? Because I do really want to know if you have understood this thing. Porque quiero saber si hemos comprendido realmente esta, esta parte, como al menos usar las, las, estas dos expresiones, when and if. Quiero que me hagan una pregunta. I want you to create one question. Una pregunta en la cual ustedes pueden incluir ya sea when or if. Okay, in a situation. Okay, for example, for example, what happens if the teacher is late in the class? Okay, so another classmate will give the answer. Bien, solo quiero que me hagan la pregunta. ¿Por qué? Porque otro compañero acá va a hacer la respuesta. Okay, let's do it. When you finish, just let me know. Just a question. And let me know when you finish. All right, and just, just give me one second, people. One second. Oops. I'm sorry guys. I was I was attending an emergency here. You finished?
Just let me know when you finish. Teacher. Yes. For example, uh, what what do you do when one student does not standard? Understand. Understand. Ah, okay. Understand. Very good. Very good, man. What do you do when a student don't understand? Okay, great. Studying así. Yes. Yes. It's okay. Um, teacher. Uh huh. It's right when what happens when you receive what well unexpected visit for the carnival? <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> it's right. Yeah, man, it's right. Ah, okay. What is the, the, the answer for this? Se va a tomar coco. Hey. <laughs> It's a joke in the, the night. When, okay. when, when, when that happens, got fun, man. Have fun. Dicen que se subieron a la carroza un día a ir cuno, cumo, como que se llama eso, Jorge, Jorge. Usted sabe eso. Tell me, what? No, man, you know what? Hey, Dicen que se subieron a la, a la carroza donde iba a ir Cumo o Cuno, ¿cómo que se llama? El, el, un baboso que no vino. Man, that was, that was funny, man. That was hilarious. Man, and, 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 and talking about this. Cono, man. Cono era. Cono. <laughs> Cono McGregor. I don't even. No, I mean, that's the, that, the, that's the, that's the boxing guy. The boxing guy. <laughs> Crazy man. Sure. Aha, Carlos. Uh, I have one. Okay, go on. Question. What happened when you do a bad word and lose your your job? <laughs> okay, what do you do when you, man? That that I is that. Good. That is extreme, man. That is extreme. <laughs> look, uh, when that happens, look for another job. <laughs> That's the most common. Me, man. All right, Amilcar, go on. All right, uh, Amilcar, and then uh, Maritza. Como no suele pasar, lo di, lo voy a decir. Uh -huh. If I win the prize. I have to share with you. Ah, okay, sorry. Right. If I win the prize, I want to share with you. Okay, good. Very good. Maritza. Okay. What would you do if you won the if you won two cards? Uh, in that case, if you win, if you, you win. win, yes. Sí, porque si me le pone, if you win, básicamente ya estamos hablando de otro condicional ahí. Es otra estructura. If you win. Mm. Ahí me regala uno, tío. Jesus Christ. Uh, I wouldn't know, man. What would I do if I win uh, a car? That would be nice. Le ponemos cajuela y lo, lo andamos de ruletero. Yeah, I mean, that would be one option. No, nah, man, that's, 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 that's nice. That's nice. Here, what, what, what you can see is like, man, people, you know what? People who got money are people who belong to church. Man, acá las personas que, va, que, que sí son en congregaciones de iglesias... They got good cards. Andan en unas naves. Uf. Solo L200 modelo 2019 hacia arriba. L200. En Hilux. Yeah, no, and you, and you know what? 
la celda 200, me, me sangran los ojos cuando las veo con barandillas. <ríe> oh, no, 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 why do you do that? <ríe> yeah, man, look, look, it's like, es como cuando un high look, man, modelo 2020, lo ve con barandillas, that's like, Jesus. Como cuando le pone calcomanías a un Ferrari, algo así. <ríe> It's um, necessary, but to bring to bring something, teacher. <laughs> no, I mean they move the, like that. Es que ellos se mueven así de, de como son varios. A lot of people uh -huh. they move from yep. one place to another. That's why. Por eso es que lo hacen. <laughs> to move the group. Ajá, uh -huh, the group. By security. Ajá, uh -huh, let's 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 put it away <laughs> as a security. <laughs> Okay, aha, uh -huh. who else finished? Let me see, I'm gonna start thinking. Marco, give me your example. Right, what do you do if you lost your shoes? If you lose, lose. Lose. Yes, your if you lose shoes. your shoes. <laughs> I will be barefoot. If I lose my shoes, I will be barefoot. Andaría, sin, andaría descalzo. <laughs> Because it's my only pair of shoes. Por eso no hay que andar bolo. Yeah, man, that's true. That's true. Yeah. Y por eso hay que hacer como, como aquí las, las chicas, right? Tener más de 20 pares. Ah, y yeah, y cargar uno de repuesta en el bolsón. Yes, man. Look, look, you know what? You know what? Si ustedes le, le, le agarran y le, le levantan el bolso a cualquiera de ellas, les aseguro que se va con todo y bolso que va. Man, I don't know what. Solo les falta yeah. el paracaídas ahí. It's incredible, <laughs> but in my work, you see all the, the, the ladies uh -huh. change your sho shoes before to enter the, the work. Work? Oh, yeah. Enter in the work? Because, because uh, on, on the, in this place, Uh -huh. Don't permit the shoot the two inches to to high. Uh -huh. Only pachito. Ah. And closet, oh, cerrado o sea todo. Que, o sea que llegan bien vivas así y después. Así yeah. 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 <laughs> eh, the eh, cheese have a <laughs> one pair of of shoes in your bag. Ajá, to, okay. to move away from, from Casillero, work. no sé cómo se dice. Locker. Locker. It's incredible. Yeah, <laughs> very, very incredible. Yes, right. ¿Qué clase de Fátima, Carla, Jennifer, Vanessa? I don't know. Can you, say, can you say, say <laughs> uh, something about that? <laughs> Jesus, I mean, girls are like that, man. Girls are like that. No, pero es que a ella siempre les gusta verse bien, that's why, right? Yeah. That's why. More the right. de, 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 de Friday. <laughs> more the Friday. Yeah. We, the look is important. We work at exactly. 3.30 p.m. <laughs> And maybe uh, 50% going to um, discotheque or Ah, so then that's Dancing, why. to drink. Uh, Man, uh, having a good life, yes. right? No, but uh, those are the people who are single, right? Los que no tienen hijitos todavía. Yeah. They, have, they have found yeah. a way. Uh, Crees que no tienen hijos. <laughs> okay. Cree uh, que, no, cree que les importan. <laughs> nah. nah. Bueno, dejémoslo ahí, right? <ríe> ah, eh. Mire, Vanessa, se encendió la cámara y así como que, hmm, what are you talking about? <ríe> And the all, maybe 90% of ladies, she yeah. have tattoo. Tattoo. Yeah, tattoos? Really? Yeah. Y, y como que es un centro de rehabilitación. <ríe> Siento que really? mañana vamos a ver a Marco en, en las noticias de Twitter. Ya. Yeah. Ya. Yeah. Por... Por discriminación. Oh, y, <risa> un grupo de señoritas atacó a un joven rey y lo dejó 
gravemente yeah. conectado. Y la culpa. Me van a tapar a la fuerza. Ah. Vamos a ver la marcha. Ah, Marco. Con un gran cartel que dice: No a Marco. Ajá. Exacto. Marco. Mamen. No, but. But. Yeah, I mean, ladies like to have fun nowadays. Even more than men. Even the more. Tattoo is art. Huh? The tattoo is art. Yeah, <laughs> it's art. Ah. Yeah, man. Uh, imagínense yeah, despertar no. ahí como que y estoy ¿Y esto qué horas me lo hice? <laughs> it's art, but uh, maybe, uh, maybe once have M is 19. <laughs> And that's not art. <laughs> It's very dangerous. Yeah, I mean, really dangerous. Yeah. All right. Let's continue. Right. Uh, 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 Carla, give me your example. Okay, teacher. Cualquier cosa me corrige. Okay, go on. Uh, if I forget that I eat something, I will it again if i forget that uh -huh. i eat it i eat something i will eat again ah okay but if i forget to eat that's what you that's what you say or oh, i forget eating if i forget eating eating se olvido comer Yes. Ah, okay. If I forget eating. If I forget eating something. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. okay. If I forget eating something. All right. Coma. Right. Coma. Right. Luego, luego, the second, the second sentence, Carla, has to be in simple present, not simple future. Porque ahí entonces ya estaríamos hablando de un first conditional. All right. Cuando, estamos, okay. cuando tenemos un presente simple en la if clause o main clause, eh, básicamente en la segunda es en, present, en, en, en futuro. Pero en este caso, both of them has to be in simple present. So eliminemos, eh, eliminemos le el will nada más. El will, ok. I eat a cane. Exactly. Ok. That's what it is. Good. Let me see. Romeo, let's read yours. Primero Romeo. Romeo. Okay. I think he's Anna. Uh -huh. uh, what do you do if you can ask for food? What do you do if? You can ask for food. If I can't or if I can. Sí. <laughs> But that, that's positive or negative, uh, Romeo? Can is positive or negative? Cuando no, es que, ¿qué haces si no alcanzas a pedir comida? Ah, so that's negative. What uh -huh. do you do if you can't ask for food? Oh, okay. If that happens to me, I stay hungry, man. I remain hungry. Sadly, that happens. That happens. All right, Romeo, thank you. Let me see who else, who else, who else. Marlo, let's read your example. And then William. My turn, teacher. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay, what do you do if you lose your wallet? I will cry, man. <laughs> I will cry because I got all my papers in there. My documents. Jesus, man, I, that, that, that will be crazy. But I, I take care of it because, I mean, I got my, my driver's license, my motorcycle's license my i mean everything everything the only thing i don't put in there is money 
Okay, that's good. Good, man. Good. William, let's read yours. William? Hello? Hello. Hi, Is man. our plant, mm, the plant grows. If I? No. If the water plants, se riega la planta. Ah, if I water the plants? The plants grow. The plants grow. Good, man. Yeah. The plants grow. Okay. Good. Acceptable. Thank you, William. Stephanie, let's read your example. Where is it, Stephanie? Stephanie? My sample teacher. Jesus Christ. No más la mencioné. Bye. <laughs> okay. Good, Matias. For example. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Uh, when you fast drive motorcycle, uh, you can't take me with you. Repeat. Re repeat the first thing. When you fast drive motorcycle. When you drive fast. Drive fast. Ah, okay. Esa era la tenía esa duda con eso. Okay. When you when you drive fast motorcycle, you can't take me with you. Nah, okay, very good. Pero esa es una pregunta al final. Yes. Entonces sería can you? Can you? Can. Tisha, yo le puse you can't. No, you can. Yeah, you can't. You ah. can. Entonces, entonces, you can. Yes. So that would that would be a question then. Otra vez. No, entonces no sería pregunta, Matías. Ajá, ajá. Es que eso es lo que yo no le había entendido. Si quería un ejemplo o quería que hiciéramos una pregunta. No, I mean, both, both of them are, are are okay, right? As long as they got if or when, no problem. Yo utilicé when. Cool. Ajá. Uh -huh. When you drive a fast motorcycle. Uh -huh. You can't take me with you. Ah, okay. Why, man? That's good to, to, to go is, that, that is, way. It's warning. Huh? <laughs> no warning. warning, man. Dangerous. Dangerous. It, pardon, danger. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Puede salir volando y dice, I believe I can fly. Y va a pasar así. Que Amen, amen. That's, 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 that's cool, but not at the same time. Okay. Good, good people. Uh, what are we going to do right now? Because of matter of time, we're going to continue with this, but, but right now we're going to be focusing on uh, the manual. In the manual, we got some things to do. Listen up. Let's go to page 45 in the manual. Page 45. And in page 45, you will find out a short conversation. I'm going to show it to you. Give me one second. America, don't be sleeping. Sorry, teacher. <laughs> no problem, man. I was just kidding. It says, you will find this short conversation. Listen. It says, listen to your teacher, read the conversation, then practice with a partner. This is a conversation between Brad and Annie. Right? And we're going to read the conversation. We're going to practice a little bit. And let's remember, at the end of the, the reading, you can ask if you have questions related to the vocabulary. It says, Brad, hi, Annie, how's it going? Hi, Annie, how's it going? Annie says, hello, Brad, I'm fine, and you? Hello, Brad, I am fine, and you? It says, Brad, I am okay. I am okay, thanks, thanks. Look, I want to ask you. Look, I want to ask you. What does your boss do? What does your boss do when a worker doesn't come to work? When a worker doesn't come to work. It says, Annie, 
Well, if someone doesn't come, if someone doesn't come, my boss call him or her. My boss call him or her. And when the person returns, and when the person returns, he mm -hmm. or she receives a notification or warning. He or she receives a notification or warning. Why, Brad? Why, Brad? It says Brad. Well, because I didn't show up to work today. Well, because I didn't show up to work today. It says any, I understand. I understand. If you see your boss tomorrow, explain him the situation. If you see your boss tomorrow, explain him the situation. It says, right, yeah, I think I will do that. Yeah, I think I will do that. Thanks, Annie. Thanks, Annie. All right, people, from here, from this vocabulary conversation, do you have any question with any specific word or structure or pronunciation? Teacher, yes, I think I will do that. I think I will do that. Uh -huh. ¿Qué le está diciendo ahí, I think I will do that. that it's like, ah, creo que haré eso. Mm. All right, they are talking about what to talk to the boss. Creo que lo haré o haré eso. Lo que le está sugiriendo la otra persona. Right? To talk to the boss. Good. Any other one? For Any example, one. this 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 How this is introduction. It? How is it going? ¿Han escuchado esa expresión antes? How is it going? Yes. ¿Qué significa? ¿Qué están haciendo? Eh, no. How is it going? ¿Cómo la estás pasando? Exactly, right? ¿Cómo te va? Right? ¿Cómo te va? That's what it is. How's it going? Teacher. Yes. Repeat the, the meeting, show up to work. And uh, I didn't show up to work today. Ah, uh -huh. let, let me see. Well, because I didn't show up to work today. Uh -huh. Yeah. To, 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 this, this, this translate the meaning to this is this isn't show up to work. Ah, you mean the translation in Spanish? Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, because I didn't show up to work today, it's like, sí, porque no fui a trabajar este, este día o ahora. Ah, okay. Show up to work is de ir a trabajar. All right, listen, de... listen, listen. Show up, show up. To work es básicamente eh, lo puede interpretar como si está usted dentro de la empresa y un compañero no ha llegado, usted puede decir, ah, Amilcar didn't show up to work today. Ah, Amilcar no vino a trabajar. Ok. Ah. Si está fuera de la empresa, ok. Si está fuera de la empresa y usted se da cuenta de que Amilcar no llegó, usted puede decir, ah, Amilcar didn't go, uh, uh, all right, listen, Amilcar didn't show up to work today. Ah, Amilcar no fue a trabajar ahora. You see? I put, I put, puede ser ir o llegar, okay? I put the finger. Entonces, en ese caso es, no fui a trabajar ahora. That's ¿verdad? correct, exactly. En ese caso, él solo se puso el dedo, ¿verdad? No, no, cabal. Exactly. Ajá. No fui a trabajar, ¿verdad? o no me okay. presenté a trabajar. En este caso, acordémonos que como simplemente no traducimos literal. Hay una, una parte del inglés que se le llama interpretación. Okay. No todo vamos a traducir literal. Entonces, ahí literal lo que está diciendo es que, ah, no me presenté a trabajar, right? Pero ya, 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 hablándolo en nuestro, like, you know, daily, daily vocabulary is like, ah, no fui a trabajar. That's what it is. 
Porque no fui a trabajar. That's correct. Good. Como la canción, no voy a trabajar, no voy a trabajar. <laughs> sí, yeah. ¿Qué me dijo que era want? Want. Yes. ¿Querer? Yes. Like, I want pizza right now. I, I, want, I want to ask you. I want Jennifer to stand up and, 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 and dance. I want to go to bed. <laughs> In, in, this, in, this case, in this case, I want to ask you. Quiero, quiero preguntarte, quiero hacerte una pregunta. For example, Matías, I want to ask you something. Quiero hacerle una pregunta. You see? That's what it is. Very, very nice. Ask Something me. else? Huh? Ask me. Es la respuesta. Ah, okay. Quiero hacerte una pregunta. La respuesta es ask me. O oh, 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 simplemente puedes decirle go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Adelante. Go on. Hazme la pregunta. Okay. Right? Go ahead, no, teacher. Another one, yes. También es otra. Go ahead. Sure. Uh -huh. Of no course. No problem. problem. Juegue. Nel pastel, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I don't want questions. Naranjas. Exactly, right? Cool people. If you don't have any other questions, I would like you to work for five. I, I would like you to practice this one for five minutes, right? Just for okay. five minutes. I'm going to. In, in the question, next, next activity, number three. Which one? Más abajo. Yes. This one? Yes. All right, we're going to do that. Let me see. And a scramble the statements below. Good. Listen, 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 listen. Vamos a irnos, vamos a ver, 9.52. Cool. Si sí salimos a tiempo. Listen, nos vamos a ir a practicar por cinco minutos exactamente. Pongan en su marcador ahí, look, watch, the, the, whatever you do. Five minutes, the conversation. Right after we practice the, the conversation for five minutes, let's do this. Okay, let's do this. ¿Qué vamos a okay. hacer acá? Dice, unscramble the statements below. Simplemente vamos a poner Hacerla. las preguntas o las oraciones, en este caso, eh, bueno. de manera adecuada. Si son preguntas, ya sabemos la secuencia de cómo hacer una pregunta. Si es una oración simple, positiva, ya sabemos cuál es la estructura que lleva, ok? Simplemente es ordenarla, ok? That is unscrambled. Good. Just give me one second. I'm going to make the groups. Or in this case, the pairs. 20, 19 people. Let me see if I have an audience. Ah, yeah. Jasmine. Okay. Give me one second. Then. So I got 18 people, by the way. Assign automatically. Give me one second, people. Okay, good. Let's let's give a set in there and let's go to work. Five minutes practice and then do that. And then we're gonna come back in here. Let's go, people. Let's go. This is Christ. I pray it's busy. Mm. I'm going to put a Milka in another one. Hello, Rob. I am fine. Are you? I am okay. Thanks. 
Look, I want to ask you, what does your boss do when a worker doesn't come to work? Well, is someone dancing, dancing come, my boss call hi or her. And when the person returns, he, he or she receives a notification or warning. Why, Brad? Well, because I didn't. What does your boss do when a worker doesn't come to work? Well, if some, uh, well, if someone doesn't come, my boss calling him or her, and when the person returns, he or she received a notification or warning. Well, or warning. Why, Brad? Well, because I didn't show up, show up, show up the word today. I understand. If you see your boss tomorrow, explain him the situation. Yeah, I think I will do that. Thanks. Well, if someone doesn't come, my boss call him or her and and when the person returns he or she receive a um, notification or warning <clears throat> why bro well because i didn't shut up to work today i understand how is is it going Hello, bro. I'm fine, and you? I am okay. Thanks. Look, I want to ask you, what does your boss do when a worker doesn't come to work? Well, if someone doesn't come, my boss calls him or her. And when the person returns, he or she receives a notification or warning. Why, Brad? Well, because I didn't, I didn't shut up to work today. I understand. You see us tomorrow, explain him the situation. Yeah, I think I will do that. Thanks, Annie. Okay. Hi, Annie. How's it going? Hello, bro. I am fine. And you? Do when a worker doesn't I come to work? Well, if someone doesn't come, my boss call him or her. And when the person returns, he or the he or she receives a notification of warning. Why, Bran? Well, because I didn't shut up the work today. I understand. If you see your boss tomorrow, explain him the situation. Yeah, tomorrow, explain him the situation. Yeah, I think I will do that. Thanks, Annie. Okay. Hi, Annie. Who is going? Hello, bro. I am fine. And you? I am okay. Thanks. Look, I want to ask you. Doesn't come. Well, if someone doesn't come, my boss call him or her, and when the person returns, he or she receive a notification or warning. Why, bro? Well, because I didn't show up to work today. Yes. Yes. Uh, pero no veo, solo she dice. Teacher. Yes. In the first, uh, you scramble. Ajá. Uh -huh. Este, nosotros arriba vemos donde dice que si 
eh, que el jefe lo llama a él o a ella, pero aquí abajo dice, igual dice que él o ella recibe una notificación o una, una amonestación. Ajá. Pero aquí abajo solo veo que dice el, los emplea, el empleado, dice cuando el empleado... Sería así, mira. When, 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 the, when she arrives, uh, Pero está employee también. Employee receive a notification. Pero cuando ella viene el empleado. Cuando ella, cuando, when she arrives, the employee receive a notification. Tiene que ser de varios factores ahí. Ajá. Aquí, when she are, pero. Cuando hay arriba, el empleado recibe notificación. Dice. Um, when person returns, he or she receives a notification or warning. Ajá. Notification. Solo que ella recibe una notificación. Uh -huh. when the, Entonces sería cuando el empleado o ella uh, 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 when the employees pero no aparece o or she or no aparece o oh. ah pero aparece ah Estoy cuando el empleado, cuando un sea. empleado no cuando ella o un empleado uh -huh. when When she. Uh, you got it now? Cuando. cuando Estoy dejando llevar por la ah, lógica en español porque el inglés es diferente. El, 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 sí, pero no, el tiene, pero no tiene la condicionante O. Como por eso no. Tiene, o ella, está lesson. refiriendo a ella, a una persona. Exactly. Don't complicate. Listen. Don't complicate. You know, like, like, like too much. Listen. Listen. It will be there. You got receives notification. She arrives the employee when A, right? A. It says she receives a notification when the um, employee arrives. Um, you got late right? there, right? You see? No, you got you, you don't got late, right? She received a notification when, when the When the employee, employee arrives, arrives. Uh -huh. got it. She receives yeah, a notification yeah, yeah. when the employee arrives. Yeah. When. All right. And let's go back to the main section because he ya nos pasamos bastante más de diez minutos. Okay. Let's go there and we're gonna finish it there. No problem. Right. Nice. See you there. What's up with everybody? Everybody's coming. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did you finish, guys, the questions? I mean, not the questions, actually. The examples. No. <laughs> Why not? Anyone. Jesus Christ. I mean, because you got the microphone off. Uh, the the, the scribble. We don't have to scribble the, the, the statement because yeah. really no, no le encontramos sentido. O sea, no le damos ah. ni pata, ni pata, ni cola a la primera. Guay, that's easy, man. Porque no okay. sabía, no sabemos si nos íbamos a enfocar en the, <laughs> when the employee o when she. Entonces ahí como que se nos hizo un pequeño cortocircuito eh, ajá. cerebral. Ajá. Ajá. A ver, Pero vamos. let's do it. No problem, man. No problem. Let's do it in here. Look. Look. Remember, remember. We got two subjects, two mm -hmm. verbs, and two complements. ¿Ok? Yes. All right. The easiest one. Tomemos el más sencillo. Listen. The employee. Tomando, tomando en cuenta que tenemos la, tenemos, tenemos acá, listen, tenemos acá, ese es el connector, All right? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. 
Let's make it up. It says, listen. When íbamos, tenemos the employee y tenemos she. Yes. Okay. Entonces, ustedes son libres de escoger or the, whether the employee or she. Pero en este caso yo voy a escoger she. When she arrives. Ahí ya tengo la primera. Listen, when she arrives. Ok. Listen. Toma. Mm. The employee. Give me a second. I'm going to make it longer. The employee. Receives. A. A notification. Simple as that. Ahí está el problema. Ah, 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 ah. Ahí está. Ahí hey, está. Sí, es. Por... No está la coma en la parte de arriba como para armarla ah, toda. No, es que la coma <risa> la tiene que poner usted. No, pues sí. Entonces, teacher, no teacher tiene... yo lo había hecho al revés. No problem, no problem. The employee receives a notification when she arrives. Ahí no, lleva lleva coma. Coma. Ahí, sí Ahí no lleva coma. Ahí sí lo lleva coma. Good, Ajá. good, good, Domingo. Good. Uh, oh. If the, she receive a notification when arrived employees, is correct or no? The employee arrives. The employee arrives. Ah, oh, employee arrives. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. That will be the one. Es, use, use and when the connection. Exactly. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Es que employee es, o, o puede ser femenino o masculino. Exactly. Entonces, uh -huh. no Exactly. Cuando okay. los empleados reciben notificaciones. Exactly. Yeah. Man. Cuando ellos. Okay. Okay. Good. Now, the second question. This is a question, actually. Okay, let's do it. What is the first word? Uh -huh. mm. What? Ah, okay. What? What, what do? What do? What do? Ah, pero tenemos das. Tenemos das. Das, acuérdense, uh -huh. actúa como un auxiliar. Okay. Ah, entonces, what does? Ajá, what does? What does? No, does es negativo. Eh, no, tenemos ahí. Tenemos que es positiva. Das. Ah, sí, dos, dos. What does? Aquí generalmente what? es un posesivo, un adjective possessive y un nombre y un subject. Necesitamos un subject. Uh -huh. Your boss. What what does your boss? Boss. Exactly. Your boss. Your boss. You Ahora un verbo principal. Do. Ok, do. do. Ajá. Ahora necesitamos If. un conector. Uh -huh. eh, when or la coma. No, in this case, If. it's because it's a question. It's a question. Uh, the sí, conector is. Sí. If. If. No. This is the connection. If. All right. If. Ok. If. Ajá. Uh -huh. What does your boss do if? Go. Doesn't, doesn't go. If? Nah, 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 nah. If we need an extra person. A worker, a exactly. It, okay. Is if a worker? Okay, is a worker. Este, esta la palabra me? worker es el, es el subject, okay? Es como que pone she or he or they. Is a worker? Okay. Doesn't. Doesn't All right, work. doesn't. Doesn't. Go. Go. To the work. To work. To work, to work. What does your boss do if a worker doesn't go to work? Very good. That is the one, right? Okay, let's remember. Let's remember. Acá podemos poner if, pero también ponemos, podemos poner when. Así que le voy a colocar acá una pleca like this. Ah, okay. Para que sepan que ambas se pueden, okay? Both of them. Yo sí lo sé en el ejercicio. <risa> no, no, man. No, man. All right. Let's do the other one. Let's do this one. It says, call I, my boss, don't work if I, to I, show up. What is the first thing? Necesitamos un subject. What is the subject? When. When. Huh? Okay. Let's go. When. When. Okay, vamos a comenzar entonces. Vamos a comenzar con la, con la, con la expresión. Ok, con la expresión. When I. When I, ajá. Uh -huh. call, call my boss. When I. Call. Don't. 
when I did it, did it, did it, did it call. Are you sure? My boss. When I call my boss. When I call my boss. Don't, don't, if I don't. No, porque ya tenemos buen al principio, ya no podemos colocar if. No, ya no. Uh, just... Yes. Ajá. Uh -huh. So. Uh, I show up. Don't show up. I. Shut up. I don't. Uh, don't show up. Show up. I don't show up. Show up. Work. Work. To work. Like this? All right. Ah, but we got if in there. Ah, entonces cambiamos el if por el F. Bueno. Ah, eso es lo que yo tenía duda, te he Ajá. Let's put it this way. If I call my boss, I don't show up to work. Like this? Así la tienen algunas. If I call my boss, I don't show up to work. If I call uh, my boss, Listen, yo la pusiera. Personally speaking, yo la pusiera. Tiene más, un tanto más de lógica, pero bueno. Así de esa manera también está correcta. Listen, if, listen, I don't show up to work Ajá, uh -huh, yes, yes. my boss. Exacto. All right. Sí, porque en la primera va a entender varias conjeturas. Dice, si llamo sí, a mi eso... jefe, no me presento a trabajar. Ah, pero en la segunda, si no me presento a trabajar, llamo a mi jefe, que es algo muy diferente, ¿verdad? Right? Yes. It makes more sense in that case. In the, in the constant, si llamo a mi jefe es para avisarle, ¿no? If I call my boss. Ah, ya. Yeah. Pero a pasar de eso, y, 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 you know, your, your imagination extend, is extended, right? To other uh, thinking. That would be the way. All right. Hey, teacher, listen, yes. ten, please. Ah? Ya yeah, está durmiendo, teacher. <laughs> yeah, man, I was. Amilcar ya cambió el horario de verano, Amilcar. Me había fijado de estar I'm concentrado. Gonna, que I'm gonna stop sharing and I'm gonna pass the attendance list because he's in a hurry. Yeah, man. Give me one second, man. Yeah, man. Okay. Menciona lo de último, teacher. De último. Let's see, Alfredo Alexander. No, man, Alfredo, I think he was. Goodbye, man. Easy, man. Uh, Amil Carcañangues. Present. Goodbye, man. Bye. Bye. Bye, man. Have a nice sleep. <laughs> All right. Dale, verga. Ok, este. Se lo sale. Se lo Me. Toma, me. Se le la chancleta. Sí, vale. All right. Just one question. Just one question. Marlon. Uh, have you had the 10 minutes feedback? No. No más tenido los 10 minutos de feedback, right? No. Cool. Today we're going to have them, okay? Okay. Perfect. Good. Let's continue. Carlos Gualberto. Present. Good. Domingo Alexander. Present. Great. Ever de Jesus. Present teacher. Very good. And goodbye. Carlos. Goodbye. <laughs> Fatima Alejandra. Present teacher. All right. Hilmar didn't show up today. Jonathan Alexander. Okay. Then he left. Jorge Elvir. Present. All right. Cool. Goodbye. Hey, goodbye. Me too. Goodbye. <laughs> see you. Have a good Bye, night. Man. Bye, see man. You guys. All right. See you. Carla Benazir. Present teacher. Ok, great. Teacher, eh, a, mí no me, no, a mí no me, no me dijo. ¿Ah? What happened? Yeah, I mean, you're included in here. Yeah, give me a second, man. Give me a second. All right. Marco David. Is it Marco here? Present. Ah, ok. Jose Matías. I'm here, teacher. Good, man. Maritza Alcira. I'm here, teacher. All right, great. Marlon Alberto. Present. All right. Mauricio Alexander. Present teacher. Okay, great. 
Romeo Alexis. Present teacher. Good. Rosa del Carmen. Present. Nice. Vanessa Odette. Present. Ah, ok. Good. William Eduardo. I think he left, right? Ok. And Jasmine Melanie in the chat, right? Ok, Jasmine. Ah, uh, Jennifer Noemi. Present. Ok, good. Natalie. Stephanie Lisset. Present. Excellent. And the last one, William Alberto, who didn't show up today, right? All right, people, listen. Para mañana, sí, people. Los quiero todos acá on time. Vamos a tener la última videoconferencia de el módulo, básicamente. And para mañana, people, sí o sí, listen, sí o sí, homeworks, right? Las 20 tareas completas. I am finishing. Nice, man. Y yeah. el final exam. Please, people, please. Para mañana, porque sí, ya básicamente mañana damos por concluido el módulo. Ahora lo hubiésemos hecho si no hubiésemos tenido aquel pequeño inconveniente. Uh, but anyways, good. Así que mañana lo vamos a terminar. And you are free. We are on vacations until next year. Right? See you tomorrow, people. Good people. See Have a wonderful night everybody. and see you tomorrow. Do the homework. Good night. Bye. Good night, good night people. Good night. Bye bye. Marlo, see you go. tomorrow, people. Bye. No se me va a ir, Marlo. All right. Good <laughs> All right, Marlon. We're going to have the 10 minutes feedback. You know, this is just to uh, clarify any question, any doubt that you might have from, from the class, from the topics. So you are free to ask if you have questions. Okay, teacher. Well, I think that maybe everything is clear. Ah. It's just that when is always use in the beginning of the phrase right mm -hmm. and if in the, in the middle uh -huh, if you want mostly. to express something exactly it's mostly like that aunque uh, even both are exchangeable right both you yeah. can put it uh, when at the beginning or in the middle or if at the beginning or in the middle the only difference the common like, is uh, the other. Uh -huh. exactly mm -hmm. Uh, as I told you, basically, what we, how, the way how we recognize them is that, for example, look, in this case, we got when, or more usual, right? Situation. And if is for, uh, mostly for, if, you got it mostly for unusual situation. This, this, is, this is just the way, right? How we can put them up. For example, when for a usual situation, when I finish work, I go, I go, to sleep. I go uh, okay, I go, to, I, go home, I go to sleep. I go to sleep. All right. This is something common for you, okay? This yeah. is something common for you to do. But now, using if. If I finish, let's put the same work, I go to sleep. This is something that is not happening most of the time, right? It's very weird mm -hmm. or it's very like not usual for you to do. Okay. This is just in situations, in very rare situations. That's what it is. Okay. okay? When is the the thing that happens maybe in the day or every day or with the frequency, uh, right? What do you mean? Exactly. For example, when it's used for, for the cases that it may be something common or it's frequency that happens. Uh-huh, exactly. And if it's when are unusual situations. Exactly. Something some... that happens rarely. Exactly, rarely, probably once a month, in a month, once in a week, but not all the time. And when is mostly okay. for, for very regular situations. Mm -hmm. Those are the uses. Okay. And let's remember, if you get if at the beginning, like in here or mm -hmm. in here, right? Uh, it means that you're going to put a comma, okay? You're gonna put a comma to separate both sentences. All right. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Sure. So, and when you use it in the middle, 
And when you use it in the middle, there is no any comma. There is no comma, right? For example, in here, look, check this out. I go to sleep if, if I, I finish my work. Finish my work. So you see, it's only one sentence. Mm -hmm. Equal, equal. Let's put one sentence. All right. Okay. One sentence. And in here, in here, equal two sentences. Why two sentences? Because the, this comma makes the uh, separation. Makes the, exactly. Right. It makes the separation between this and this one. All right. Those are okay. like the uses. And likely similar happens with one, right? You can put it up in the middle and there's no any comma in there. And that's exactly, meaning. exactly, that's what they work. And the meaning, of course, it, it is not, uh, you know, like altered in this case. They have the same meaning. It's going to be the but same, okay. Exactly, it's not a different, right? Another thing is that, let's remember, both structures have to go in simple present. Okay, nothing about future, nothing about uh, past. Both of them are going in simple present. Even though and they if you are want to express, If you want to express maybe something like that in the past, you can't. Yes, you can do it, but in that case, uh, in that case, there is something that is called conditional, right? Ahí estamos hablando de un tercero o cuarto condicional, right? A condition. Mm -hmm. Okay, or if you want to express mm -hmm. something in the future, that is a condition too. For example, the most common one, creo que el que han practicado, eh, eh, hemos practicado en los en módulos anteriores es, por ejemplo, look at this. When I win the lottery, I will buy a house. In mm -hmm. this case, we use will, look. Yeah. When I win the lottery, I will buy a house. What does it mean? Look, this one is in simple present, but this one. The other is, one is the future. Is future. Exactly. This yeah. one is in future. All right. This is different. This one is called first conditional. Este es llamado primer condicional. Ese es el nombre de la estructura. Okay. Esta estructura que estamos viendo ahorita, this one that yeah, we have just question. explained, is called zero conditional. Right. Okay. That's the one. That's, that's, that's the one. Right? Okay. Entonces, poco a poco vamos a ir viendo cada uno de ellos. And we're going to be explaining, of course, the grammar part, right? Which one goes in simple present? Which one goes in simple future? There's one that is, is in simple uh, simple past, and the other one is in simple past too, right? We're going to be discussing those things, but in, in future modules. Okay. Perfect, teacher. All right. Good. Any okay. other questions that you might have, mister? Uh, I think I, I got it clear. You got it clear? Any other questions related to other topics? Y con los demás temas, todo está claro? Everything is okay? I think that, that everything is okay. It's just that the idioms are included in the, in the manual. Ah, yeah, I mean, a couple of idioms are included in there. Uh, you got some examples. More, more examples of that because I got the, the comments, right? Break a leg, that it means a good look. But uh -huh. I know there are many others. Yeah, I mean, there are a lot of... We actually, just, we just actually, find in, in uh, internet. Actually, I didn't, I didn't send right the list that I told you. I think that... Ooh, I, that didn't, I haven't seen. I didn't. What, you know what? Uh, right after we finish the class in here, I'm going to send the list that I told you to the group so you can download it. But there are okay. a lot of more. Uh, there are a lot of more. For example, as I was explaining to some other students in here, for example, that... If you're going to translate this type of idiom, it's better for you to learn them by memory, by heart, because if you translate them, it is not, it is not the meaning. Exactly. For example, if you you're going to try to, to find the meaning literally, maybe, and it means another thing. Exactly. For example, look at this. Hit the sack. Hit, the sack. hit, hit is basically golpear, right? Hit yeah. the sack. Golpear el saco. But, I mean, it doesn't have any sense, right? Hit the sack, golpear yes. el saco. But literally, it means go to bed. It means right? go to bed. Yeah. You can say, like, when I finish the feedback, 
I hit the sack. sack. You see? When I finish the feedback, I hit the sack. Ahí básicamente he unido. Básicamente el tema del día the de hoy. Con un, con un the idioms. With, exactly. When one idiom. So you see? This is the way how, how it works. No, pero ahora que sí me acordó, es cierto, no envié la lista que les había mencionado. I'm going to send a list so you can check them out. There are a lot of idioms in there. And I will send it to you so you can download it and check them. Because okay. it's really important, por lo menos los más comunes, sería bueno el poderlos eh, aprender, porque sí, son bastante, son bastante comunes, especialmente en el, en el inglés americano. Eh, American people, they usually speak with a lot of idioms. Yes, because, for example, you can hear a conversation, but they use idioms, and maybe you are trying to find a meaning that exactly. obviously you are not going to find, right? Because exactly. it's an idiom. You won't find it, yeah, because it's, it is an idiom, and you know, like, since idioms you to get, doesn't have you a translation. Meaning that is not the right one. Exactly. That's what it, what, that, that's right. That's right. That's what we got to do. But I'm going to send the, the, the PDFs to, to the group, and then you can download it from there. Okay, right. I'll have a look at it. Okay, very good. There you go. So, uh, I don't know if you have any other questions related to any other topic, Marlon. I think that right now I'm um, I'm clear. Perfect. Everything Marlon. is okay. Perfect. So we're gonna just like wait for the next video conference then, which is going to be the last one. Uh, just one more question. Uh, how are you with the platform with the hunger? Are we okay with that? Well, I I already finished the I think maybe all. Ah, okay, good, I, man. I good. I did uh, I did the the four the four questions that it appears. I did uh, it today. Ah, okay, perfect, perfect. And the final exam? Yeah, that one. Ah, okay, all right. I, I am in the four parts, right, from the final exam. Perfect, man. Good. I really appreciate that. Yeah, right. I, I did maybe like like ten. Like 10 in a row. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> nice, man. That's great. That's great. <laughs> okay. Here we are. You got a lot of music, man. Okay. All right. Cool, man. So let's see you tomorrow then in another video conference, right? See you, teacher. Bye bye, man. Have a, nice... Have a good, Have a good night. Bye bye.